determine the stresses induced in a circular ring of a circular cross section of 25 mm diameter subjected to a tensile load of 6500 newton the inner diameter of the ring is 60 mm so this is a closed ring so cross section is 25 so you have to find out the stresses at cross section a and cross section bb so one is having zero angle another will be 90 degree from the particular cross section so i going to take cross section so first i going to take the cross section over here so i going to take r is 30 so rc r not ri every value i going to find out so the inner radius will be 60 by 2 that is 30 mm outer radius r not is equal to 30 plus 25 that is 55 radius of center of axis r is equal to 30 plus 25 by 2 42.5 mm the radius of neutral axis r n is equal to root of r not plus root of ri whole square divided by 4 this can be get from the data and book so i going to get as rn as 41.56 so e value will be rn minus rc minus rn so i want to get as 0.94 distance of the inner fiber to the centroidal axis will be ci is equal to rn minus ri distance between outer radius from neutral axis will be r not minus rn so we will want to get the values so direct stresses at any cross section at angle of theta if we take that as a with respect to vertical it will be sigma d f sin theta by 2a if we consider with horizontal it will be f cos theta by 2a so considering a cross section and theta as zero means we want to consider as a vertical so direct stresses will be sigma d is equals to f sin theta divided by 2a and theta angle is zero so f sin zero by 2a it gives us zero so the bending moment will be 0.318 into f r the equation number 25.68 so r is equals to rc the positive tensile stress so I want to take as positive because it is a tensile load. So M B at A is equals to eight seven eight four seven point five newton m m. So this couple will produce a compressive stress at the inner fiber and tensile stress at the outer fiber for a cross section A. So this will produce from here it will be compressive and the outer fiber will be tensile. So considering that, so maximum stress of the inner fiber sigma R I A is equal to direct stress plus the bending stress. Direct stress is zero. The bending will be M B A C I divided by A E R I. Substituting that, I want to get the value as minus seventy three point three six newton per mm square. That will be a compressive. Similarly, taking the outer fiber, the maximum stress that is direct stress plus the bending stress. So direct is zero. So bending M B A into C naught divided by A E into R naught. So I want to get as forty six point five two. So it is a tensile stress. So consider the cross section BB. So since you have taken the vertical as reference, the theta will be equal to ninety. So with respect to vertical, so direct stresses will be sigma sine theta by two a sigma sorry f sine theta by two a. So f L is six thousand five hundred sine of ninety is one. So I want to get as six point six two one newton per mm square. That is a tensile. So bending stress M B I is equal to minus point one eight three F R. So minus indicates it is going for a tensile and the load and R is equal to R C. So I want to get as M B at partition B equals to five zero two seven seven point five newton M M. So the couple produces inner uh, produces a tensile stress at the inner and compresses at the outer fiber. It is just opposite to the cross section A. So the maximum stress will be sigma. R I into R I at position B is equal to sigma D plus M B C I divided by A into R I. By substituting the values, I got to get that one as 48.6 newton per mm square. Similarly, for outer fiber, I got to get values minus 20 newton per mm square. It is a compressive stress.